the top three magic must knows for our upcoming new moon in Pisces. Yes, indeed, magic makers, we are on the edge of yet another new moon, which means we get that restart, begin again, set some intentions. And this new moon, we are bathing in the beautiful energy of Pisces. So here today, let's go through the one, two, three, what are the magic must-knows for this new moon? If you are joining me again here in the Magic Circle, what a delight to connect with you again. If you are new, my name is Deb D, and I'm an author, spiritual teacher, and grief guide, specializing in the transformation of big life loss to big life magic and all the magic that comes with that. It's my belief that universal energy and magic is available to us in every stage and every day of our lives. And when we can bring that into our consciousness, into our magical play, then we can move towards creating our own big life magic. And one of the ways I work in that magical realm is by following the moon. So let's follow along with the one, two, three magic must-knows for this new moon. Magic must-know number one, meditate first. Before setting your intentions for this new moon, sink into some meditation and letting go and allowing your intuition to play. Now, why Magic Maker? Because we are in a Pisces new moon and Pisces is strongly connected to creativity, imagination and your intuition. So rather than sitting down and journaling out your intentions for this new moon, pause, meditate first, allow your intuition to lead the way. For sometimes our thinking brain can get in the way with what we think is the way, whereas actually our spirit and our intuition or tapping into collective knowing and our inner knowing can give us the exact way forward. So meditate first before setting your intentions. That's what I think is move number one. Move Number two in the magic realm for this new moon would be sink into where we are. A Pisces new moon is an ending and a beginning, and in particular, this one. For Pisces is the last sign in the running order of all of our star signs. We start at Aries and we go through Taurus, we move all the way down through to Pisces and Pisces is giving us as shared this like dream time be in creativity trust your spirit now and it's the last sign so you have been traveling through an evolution and here we are at the end with trusting ourself spirit and all and for this particular new moon it's supersized because Saturn, big, gorgeous Saturn, the planet of karmic lessons, responsibility, structure, it's like the father planet that wants to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and are you being responsible for that? That's Saturn energy. And Saturn, for the last two and a half years, has been in the sign of Aquarius, asking us, what's your place within this community? What's your unique print? What are you doing for the betterment of all? And hey, the last two and a half years, look at what's been happening in the world with the COVID pandemic. And now the thing that we've all been waiting for for about two and a half years is the shift. Saturn is shifting from Aquarius, soon to be shifting into Pisces. And so our sense of a bigger lesson, bigger karmic lessons, a bigger Saturn type of how we're structuring and what are we doing and how we're taking responsibility in our life kind of question lesson is coming to an end and we're about to shift into a new big chapter. Saturn in Pisces is going to be sustained for a while. So also 
sink on into, yeah, this is a new beginning. I can dream into a new beginning, but also what's ending? And the question to ask now is this, what began in the later part of 2020 for me personally and how is that shifting or changing or maybe even ending now? So allow that to play with your setting of intention also. And there's more. Magic must know number three is right now all planets are direct. Yay, we don't always get this. This is unique to now. It started in late January. It's going to go all the way through to April 21st. So we're in the middle of that now. All major planets are moving forward. So they're all saying, come on, look, giddy up, where are we going? Now is absolutely the time to begin new ways of being. And because we have this Pisces energy, the invitation is not so much for an action. I mean, sure, it always is because humans were always doing stuff. The invitation with that forward movement is how will you creatively spark up? How will you tap into your imagination? And again, intuition. Pisces loves this invisible world in the spirit realm. So if planets are all direct now, how can you direct your energy and attention towards more than the thinking mind, but allow again that spirit and intuition to play? Because soon I'm going to be back talking about the new moon in Aries and that is forward movement action. But now wrapping it all up with your one, two, three magic must knows is this. We are at an ending and a beginning and we are being invited to leave the mind for a moment and play in the spirit realm because that's where we're going to be able to glean new insights, wrap up the energy that has been and allow our spirit to play. So magic makers, what a delight that we get to spend this time in this beautiful Pisces energy. And as I shared in magic move number one, meditate first, and I'm going to help you out there. I have created a new moon meditation, especially for this moon. And you can find it here on Big Life Magic. And I'm going to link it below so it's easy to play along. So magic makers, let's all do that magic move. Meditate first, sink into what is ending, what is beginning, and allow now your spirit to play. Enjoy this new moon. I will see you again for full moon and more magic in the magic realm. If you have not yet, please subscribe because I would love to see you again in the magic circle. And for now, I just wish to remind you just in case you forgot, or maybe no one's ever told you before, that it's you, my friend. It is you that is the magic. Big love.